We had an incredibly weird uh, event at our house at about 1.30 in the morning. Uh, my sister-in-law who's staying with us, uh, she's uh, on the ground floor, we're on the second floor of the house. Uh, she came upstairs in a panic and said, there's a guy trying to get into the house. Uh, and since she's on the ground floor, the guy, there's a door in her room actually that leads outside. And some crazy guy had come and grabbed the door and said, I'm Brian, let me in, I'm in trouble, let me in, I'm Brian, right? And that just, abs I mean, can you imagine you're sleeping and all of a sudden that happens? She freaked out, she got up, uh, she was a little disoriented in the beginning, she's like, should I call my sister? She's like, oh no, she's upstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right, I should call the cops. So she immediately called 911, which is actually, boom, she figured that out right away, mm -hmm. even in the 1.30 in the morning, great job. Then she ran upstairs and got us, right? I get up, I'm disoriented, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And so finally, I'm like, I, I gotta get downstairs, see what the hell is going on, see if the cops showed up, etc. So I go down and I didn't realize, but Wendy and Jenny also came down, and Wendy's my wife, and she brought our newborn daughter, Joy, and she was carrying her because she was crying, etc. And she's there downstairs now. And so I open the shades and I see a flashlight. I don't know if it's the cops, I don't know if it's the, the crazy guy. Uh, and then so I open the door a little bit and I hear the guy and he's yelling. Mm -hmm. And he's like, how do I know you're cops? So then I realized that the f guys with the flashlights were the cops. Mm -hmm. And so they start walking towards our driveway because the guy's on our driveway. Now he's around the corner so I can't see him. But I can hear him yelling. You know, I want the cops, but I don't know if you're real cops. I'm Brian. Okay. So I mean, it's a slightly comical element as we're absolutely scared of out of our minds here. Who is this guy? Alex Jones? Right. Oh uh, no! Come on. Okay. Too much. So. Okay. Anyway, so then the cops uh, start walking in as they should towards the guy, and one of them says, "Hey, you got pepper spray on you?" To another one of the cops, this guy's out of control, so that makes sense. And then as they close in on him, he bolts. He goes to our backyard. And then and, and the lights are out in our house. And then all of a sudden we hear a bang. Jeez. He broke the door. He's inside the house now. At that point, my wife, uh, my sister-in-law, Joy, etc., they're all downstairs. So in that split second and a half, two seconds, I was like, get up, get up. And I got them to go upstairs. I turn on the lights. And I shut the door, and now the, half the cops are going around the back, but there's a big door that prevents them. I don't know how that crazy guy got over it. I don't know if he jumped over it, pushed past it, etc. And the other half the cops are coming through the front door, but now it's locked. And meanwhile, I'm trying to get my wife and sister-in-law upstairs, etc. And so I unlocked the door, and I let the cops in, and then they swarmed him up from both sides. And thank God he wasn't armed. And he, despite all of his craziness, when the cops got on top of him, he lay down, and he got handcuffed. God. So nobody got hurt, you know, and so we're all 100% fine, but having a crazy guy in your house, and then the cops said, oh, we think he's on bath salts, okay? Now, and, and the cops said, man, we get in a lot of bath salts cases. Now, do we know it's bath salts? Of course we don't know. We have no toxicology report. It just happened last, in the middle of last night, right? But whatever he was on, he was crazed, right? And so that's an incredibly scary situation. Was this like, you know, young guy, middle-aged guy? Like, I'm very curious about his age. Yeah, he was middle-aged. Mm -hmm. uh, I would guess that he was around 45, but he looked a little haggard. But he, he, he didn't look homeless. He wasn't in a three-piece suit either. Mm -hmm. You know, he had these weird-looking white pants and white uh, sneakers on. He had kind of a, a loud green shirt on. I, I, for whatever I'm reason, in my mind, I was like, oh, that dude's from Venice Beach. Okay, uh -huh. he was white, uh, and, you know, yeah. roughly He's that's Brian, he's Brian. He's Brian! Right. I, I'm actually surprised that you didn't have, like, a violent reaction, right? Like, you know, just survivalist mode, gotta protect my wife and children, it's go time. Like, yeah. you sound like you handled the situation as calmly as possible, which is kind of amazing, given the fact that you're Jenk Uger. Like, you're known for going <laughs> ballistic, <laughs> on a regular basis. Brian sucks balls! <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Uh, no, seriously, um, it's interesting because I, I knew that we'd called 911, especially when I saw that the cops were outside. My immediate instinct was, let the cops handle it. Here's what can go wrong. Somehow, shots are fired mm -hmm. and my family's in the house. That's the last thing in the world that I want. So I don't need to be a hero, I don't need anything. 
All I got to do is get my family out of harm's way. Now, if I had to do it over again, I'd never let him come downstairs, but you're not thinking about that. You don't know where the guy is. You don't know if he's left. You don't know if the cops are there. So given those circumstances, it was understandable that we all went downstairs, but in reality, only I should have gone downstairs. Now, I think JR is going to admonish me at some point that I should have grabbed some sort of weapon. If I was thinking quicker, I probably should have, right? Um, but uh, if a gun, hell no. Because the whole time I'm thinking, I hope nobody fires. I hope nobody fires. If you know, I don't know if the guy is armed or not. But mainly, honestly, I was worried about the cops mm -hmm. because if they think the guy is a threat and they fire at him, which is understandable because he's crazy, right? And they don't know what kind of a threat he could be if he's on bath salts. I'm worried that those bullets are going to fly and accidentally hit my family. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was most worried about. You know, Mr. Basalt's guy, I got seven cops out there. We're going to be able to handle them. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a very rational way to handle the situation. And, I mean, do you feel that if you did have a gun in that situation, you would feel safer? Not at all. I would have felt less safe. Now, I'm not just saying that. I swear to God that that was exactly my thought. Now, it could be a different circumstance where you would have a legitimate point. If you're out in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. and the cops aren't going to arrive for 23 minutes, then I hear you. That's a different situation that might call for a different response, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm in the middle of a city, and this guy was apparently at four different houses. He'd already thrown a stone through a Starbucks window or something, wow. and we'd already called 911. I got no interest in being a hero. If I got a gun, then the cops, understandably, are going to be more jittery, because then there's right. a crazy guy, and then there's a guy with a gun. Who's the bigger threat? And at least half of their attention is going to be focused on getting me to put down the gun, because they don't want me shooting someone right or wrong. Was, do you see what I'm saying? I do see what you're saying. Was there a moment where you were scared for your life? I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't. The, the main moment that I was scared is, it's dark, he's now in the house, and he broke in, so it was loud, and my wife and kid and my sister-in-law are on the first floor. And that was the moment where I was like, they got to get upstairs. Where was little pro? Was he upstairs sleeping? Yeah, thank God he didn't wake up. My, wow. My two-year-old was upstairs, didn't wake up. Wow. So that's, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, gun, no way. I think that would have just confused the situation and made it worse. You know, should I have had some sort of a bat or as Wes Clark or, or JR would have me carrying around a machete? I don't know. Uh, you know, a bat I probably should have had and probably will have next time.